Police are sharing a bit of new information on the murders of a mother and her three grown children. They were found dead in their home in the south suburbs. WGN Sean Lewis is live in Tinley Park with the latest on this story. Sean. Tina and Ben, Tenley Park Police telling us tonight that the deadliest incident they've had since 2008 in the uh, Lane Bryant murders was just yesterday at the home behind me. That mother and her three adult daughters found shot and killed in what police are describing as domestic violence. Flowers now make up a memorial outside of the snow-covered home in Tenley Park, where the lives of four women ended Sunday morning. Words can't describe how deeply saddened I am at this horrible tragedy. A mother and her three daughters are gone. 53-year-old mother, Mahida Kasim and her three daughters, 24-year-old Hanan and 25-year-old twin sisters, Zahia and Halima, were found shot and killed. There's about four people down with gunshots. A 911 call about 1120 Sunday morning brought police to the home where they found the bodies of the women and a man who police took into custody and are calling the suspect. They also recovered a gun. This is a difficult day and a stark reminder of how quickly domestic violence can escalate. Halima was the kindest person you would ever meet. Today, the classmates of Halima came to the home, all of them third-year pharmacy students at Chicago State. I just know that Halima did not deserve this. Her sisters, her mother, very sweet lady, they didn't deserve this, you know, especially from someone you love and you live with. You feel like you're the safest place you can be is at home, mm -hmm. you know, and then when that turns against you, it's like, where do you go? What do you do? This is about family violence and the power of one person over other family members. For now, Tinley Park investigators will not name the suspect, but they are clear that the shooting is a domestic incident and the public is not in danger. Still, domestic violence experts point to this incident as a call to watch for warning signs. This is about power and control. This is about gender-based violence. And this is, at this point, for me, in, in whether it's this case or any other case, is that this is not something that the community condones or, or the religion condones. So please, please, please reach out and get help before it's too late. We are still waiting from the Cook County State's Attorney on any charges in this case. Again, that suspect, who police are not identifying at this hour, remains in custody. That is the latest here live in Tinley Park. Sean Lewis, WGN News.